season. I'll be reading from the book of Isaiah, the ninth chapter, the sixth and the seventh verse. I want you to embrace that Jesus is the reason for the season. God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that your blessings will continue to flow in this service. We'll continue to give you the praise and worship and magnify your name. Also in that passage of scripture, when you go into reference, Emmanuel simply means that our God is with us. And if we trust God and believe God in what he's saying today, I want you to realize that Jesus is the reason for the season. I want you to understand that it, it, we celebrate the birth. We celebrate the gift. That God hath given his only begotten son so you and I can have the right to eternal life. Well, what happens is in the retail industry, we have commercialized Jesus out of the season. Yes. We no longer want to put up Nativity scenes can be throughout the land because various people and groups begin to complain about the reason for the season. You and I must, as parents and grandparents and great-grandmothers, must have to go back and begin to remind our children it's not about the hustle and bustle and how many gifts you get that you got to buy everything for that one day. We must begin to realize that Jesus is the reason for the season. He said, my people should perish because of lack of knowledge. I was listening this morning when they estimated there's another 134 million people did not go out and shop. But I want you to understand that God gave his only begotten son. So we understand the true reason for the season. There's a tack on just even mentioning Christmas now. You got to say everything that try to minus and try to void out the reason for the season. If it wasn't for Jesus, we would not be here. And as we, as I ask you all, let's stand. We're going to read this in concert. It's two scriptures. And I want you to embrace the word of God. And, and we're going to change our children's mindset. That you don't have to go in debt for one day. If my child is good in academics and doing what they're doing and, and trusting God, you and I should not frame our mind and our thoughts that we have to give them to it once a year. If they done well and doing well, why we can't do it throughout the year? Because when we do that, we don't set them up and put them in a, a frame of mind that I have to go in debt on the 25th. I have to do everything just for that one day. But once we come into Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior, if I love you enough, I could give you the same gift during the year. It don't matter. God did not look at us and said that we, we celebrate the birthday, but they don't even want to celebrate the birthday. Everything is commercialized, but Jesus is minus out of the equation. When you take Jesus out and you take the reason for the season, Man have lost his perspective on who he is. Who is he trusting? 
Who is he believing in? Is he walking by faith? Or you're walking by what you see? Yes, we will celebrate. I will give gifts. But I guarantee you, every card I give, it has a verse of scripture in that card. So you understand, it's not about how much I spend. It's about Jesus Christ. He is the reason for the season. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, along with my lovely wife. I want to thank you for supporting the ministry. I want to just encourage you and let you know that everything is moving by the power of God. I want you to be able to take a moment and look at what God is doing and how he has displayed his power in our service today. Thank you for supporting the ministry and seeding into Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida, gateway to the Florida Keys. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Blood, through all the hurt and pain, you change me, rearrange me. I'm no longer the same. Now I want you to understand something. God gave a price and paid a price when he sent his son out of glory to redeem man back to himself. And he simply says, he is born and he is given. Emmanuel, meaning that our God is with us. You and I must understand the power of God planting his seed into a virgin Mary in order to accomplish what he set out to do. But we have taken the very thing, the very gift that God has given us to free us from sin, to free us from bondage. He said, I come so you may have life and have it more abundantly. To free us from the things of this world. But what happens is, we have allowed Jesus to be pushed back. That we can't put up nativity scenes that speak and represent the glory of God. And I want you to understand something. I'm not the Grinch of Christmas, but if we don't begin to understand that if we don't teach our children who is the reason for the season, we celebrate because he is a wonderful counselor. We hold our hands and worship because he is a wonderful counselor. We go into praise and renditions of praise because what? He is a wonderful counselor. When I can't find my way, I speak to Jesus because he'll listen to me when people don't want to listen to me. He don't look at the caller ID and begin to block you out. He said, if any man should knock at the door and let me, if he knock at the door, I shall answer the door and I will come in. And you and I got to understand that he was born to take away our sins. He was born so we could have life and have it more abundantly. He was born so the increase of my life could be better than what it was yesterday. He was born to take away my sins. A savior wretch like me. I once was lost, but now that I'm found. But let me tell you some amazing grace. How sweet the sound. You got to understand that he is the reason for the season. I don't care how much garland or how much tinsel that you put out there. You must know the reason why you're hanging up the lights. 
You must know the reason why you're decorating the tree. You must know the reason why you're wrapping the package. The package just is a part of our celebration. But the greatest celebration is knowing that Jesus, good God of mine, was born so I could live again. Born so I could have the right to eternal life. No matter what side of the red road track my sister, my brother, you was born on, you got to realize that Jesus is the reason for the season. I can wave my hand in the midst of adversity. I can wave my hand in the midst of my trials and tribulation because Jesus is the reason for the season. Wonderful counselor said that he is a mighty God. We serve a God that not only sit high and look low, he worked through men. He worked through the evil heart of men. He worked through men and showing that he is a mighty God. I love that scripture when he said, I'll take the foolish things of this world in order to confound the wise. He's the reason for the season. Oh, my God. Sometimes we'll go out there and see what's amazing that we can file our taxes on December 30th, you need to go and understand you don't have to get in debt for one day. You go and file your taxes so you won't go spin up here and there. Let me tell you something. You need to learn how to manage what God have given you. If my child cannot and my grandchildren cannot play with a two or three, why I'm going to overload them with unnecessary gifts? I want them to know the real reason why we celebrate Christmas, why we turn around and have the lights up, and the reason why we sit at the dinner table and we're reading the scriptures of the glory of God. I want them to know that there is a, a righteous God with all power in his hand the glory of God that you and I begin to understand why we are celebrating. I'm celebrating because he was born. I'm celebrating because he got up on the third day with all power in his hand that we are able to celebrate but I can celebrate knowing that God is and that his son is only begotten son for the reason for the season. Some of you sitting there stretching your head trying to figure out I have two more days to go and buy this and buy that. I don't I don't know if I have enough money, but I'm going to put that bill on the back burner because I got a rapid refund coming in. You better go ahead and pay that bill and let them know that you got to be happy with what you got because Jesus is the reason for the season. I'm not going to get in debt to try to satisfy you so you can show up between everybody and do this and do that. I am doing what God told me to do. I cannot afford it. I'm not going to get in debt about it. You better know who Jesus is. When Joyce, you know who Jesus is, you're going to realize that the 25th is every day. Every day. Every day I can wave my hands and tell him thank you. Every day I can walk down the streets and tell him thank you. Every when I get in my car, I can tell him thank you. When I'm driving on the highway, I tell him thank you. Every day is Christmas to me. Because if I can wake up in my right mind, giving God the glory, thanking him for his son, that he shed his blood so I can live again. Behold, I come quick. My reward is with thee. He's not coming with a whole bunch of gifts, but he's coming with one main gift. All your name is in the Lamb Book of Life. Is your name in the Lamb Book of Life? After all this past and all this gone, is your name written in the Lamb Book of Life? Are you realize that he is the wonderful counselor? Do you realize that the, 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 uh, the increase of the government of peace, we in turmoil, Twelve. Some of you have been in turmoil since the beginning of 09. Wrestling with the stain in the beginning of 12. You ain't got no better and got no father. You still fighting with that same old fight. Five, six days away from the new year. You either going to put it in Jesus' hand or you going to carry it into the new year. Man, I'm taking everything off. Every weight don't belongs to me. Can you imagine if I give you a weight and you drag that weight around everywhere you go? Everywhere you go, you drag it. Everybody problem. Everybody situation. You just are dragging it. You just are dragging it. Lord, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And, and, and here it is, 2012. You're going to 2013, you still dragging what they did to you two months ago. Some of you still dragging stuff that done years ago. And you wonder why you all mangled up and tied up because you don't know the reason for the season. 
You, you, every, you think everything is your season. You don't believe in that you got to go through some song. And, and then you can't forgive nobody. You just dragging everything. Can't even forgive nobody. And then talking about you love the Lord. You, that's a weight. The reason for the season. That's a weight. You know, they don't like me. That's a way. They didn't like Jesus. So what? That's a way. They didn't care for him. That's a way. 2013 I ain't taking not no weight, 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 no problems, no headaches, no no weight. Uh-uh. I'm getting ready to move into a dimension of God. You can't move where God wants you to move. And some of you carrying a whole lot of weight because words, what somebody said to you. Words will dissipate. My worship will remain. You can say what you want to say, but it ain't going to stop me from worshiping. It's not going to stop me from calling on God. It's not going to stop me from understanding the reason for the season. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida, gateway to the Florida Keys. Want to realize and want you to realize that 2013 is the year of expectancy, great miracles of God. I want you just to believe God and what you're about to witness that was happening here in Florida City, Florida can happen to you in your home, in your workplace. You just trust God and believe God for your miracle in 2013. And not only your miracle, but your friends and your neighbor and your loved ones. This is Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida, gateway to the Florida Keys. I'm no longer the same. I mean, we serve a mighty God that when we understand the reason for the season, that every battle that you and I go through, God got something better waiting for us. Let me tell you something. The battles that you're going through does not compare to the gift that God has for you. The battle that you're going through does not compare for the gift that God has for you. That battle is in your life. Because he does not desire for you to focus where God is taking you. If I hold your attention long enough, you're going to forget about what you was praying for. If I hold your attention and distract you long enough, you forget about what the reason for the season is about. We, we get around here like we're afraid to tell people that Jesus is the reason for the season. You walk in the room, you didn't get me this gift, and you didn't get me that gift, and that looked like it came from the dollar store. But let me tell you something. Thank God I got a gift. You, but you got to understand that he gave his only begotten son. You got to learn how to learn how to give in order to receive. Here it is. God gave his son in order for us to be redeemed back to him. Some of us don't even want to learn how to give. We are takers. We want to take everything for ourselves. We want to just go ahead and put it. But then afraid to trust God to give back to God. I don't know. You wonder why the devourer is always at your pocket or at your car or at your house. Unnecessary repairs. Unnecessary things that you don't have to pay for, but you don't honor the reason for the season. If you start honoring the reason for the season, your car won't break down as much. Huh? Huh? If you learn how to give, it'll be given back unto you. When you don't give, how you expect it to come back to you? Nothing from nothing, leave nothing. God gave his son. And when we turn around and minus Jesus out of the equations, we will not have nothing. You'll get caught up in this madness. He said, be of this world. Be of this world, but not of that mindset that the world has. I'm a part of this world. 
But I've been bought with a price. And that's the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything you do must have to be a moderation to it. Let's not overdo it. Let us learn. Sit down and talk to your children. Let them know where you at financially. We can't afford it. But we believe in God. We have in faith. If our faith is a grain of a mustard seed. Tell your children, it ain't going to be December 25th, but when God work it out and we're able to do it, we ain't waiting to Christmas. God going to make it happen and we're going to give it to you then. Best to be truthful with them. Best to tell the truth. Huh? I'm not driving a sled. You're not driving a sled, are you? Do you have a bunch of reindeers in front of it? Huh? Tell them the truth. Tell them the truth. Tell the truth. The reason for the season. Tell the truth. Tell them the truth. You know, we don't even want to tell the truth to them. You got to tell them that Jesus is the reason for the season because God gave his only son. Born through a virgin Mary. Mary, did you know your baby boy will have the government upon his shoulder? Mary, did you know that he come to take away the sins of the world? Mary, did you know the very gift, good God Almighty, that you was carrying that very gift that you carry for nine months will be the savior of the world. The very gift that you was carrying that will redeem man back to the Father. The very gift, Mary, that God gave you will wipe away my tears. The very gift that God gave you will give me rest in my midnight hour. The very gift that God gave you, Mary. Did you know you'll become fishermen of man? The very gift, good God Almighty. That I said the same gift that Mary was carrying. God Himself gave us a gift that understand our pain, that understand our hurt, that'll heal us from sickness, that'll renew our mind. Good God. That'll give us strength. That'll begin to walk with us in the midnight hour. The same, the same gift walked among men, walked among men, 33 years, healed the sick, raised the dead, called Lazarus, Lazarus, Lazarus. The same gift said, Lazarus, I want you to rise. And Lazarus got up out of the grave. The same gift that Mary carried, Lazarus came hopping out of the grave with his grave clothes on. A napkin was built his face. And the same gift, that same baby boy, that same baby boy that you carry, call a man out of the grave. That same baby said, Lazarus, said, Lazarus. Lazarus got up, and when Lazarus got up, they unwrapped his grave clothes, and they saw Lazarus. He was alive. That same baby boy freed my mind. That same baby boy gave me a praise and a worship. That same baby boy, they call him wonderful counselor, mighty God, and a prince of peace, and God. I said, God, I said, God, Emmanuel is with us. I said, God, I said, God gave his son so he can walk among flesh. He knows my pain. He knows my hurt. He knows the liars. He was accused. He was accused of being the king of the Jews. But when the power of the resurrection, not only the Jews, the Gentile was included. Well, I said, we are included. We're no longer strangers. We're sons and daughters of the Most High. There's a gift. There's a gift. There's a gift. A brand new car. There's a gift. There's a gift. 
a brand new house. There's a gift. There's a gift. A new job. But without Jesus, without Jesus, without Jesus, without Jesus, walking with you, talking with you, holding you in your midnight hour. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church. Want to encourage you, 2013, to plant a seed. Well, therefore, you receive a harvest. I'm also reminded in the book of Genesis 8 and 22, and it reads as follows. While the earth remained, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, and summer and winter, day and night should not cease. You must plant. And I'm encouraging you to plant your seed today in a ministry that's on fire for the glory of God, reaching our nation, our community, and trusting God that when you plant your seed, that you will receive an 100-fold blessings. Get your power to go through the storm. Get your power to hold your head up. Get your power to love the Lord. God, give us a gift. That will strengthen you and I in the times of trouble. He will give you a gift. And the same as Jesus Christ. A gift that keep on giving from year to year, from day to day, from good times to bad times. Jesus is that gift. He is the reason for the season. He keep on giving. He keep on giving. He keep on giving. Little become much. When you place it in the master's hand, he keep on giving. He keep on giving. I get closer, he give me more. I get closer, he give me more. I get closer, he give me more. Every battle, every storm, every hurt, every pain, he keep giving. Give, keep on giving. Receive the gift that will never leave you, never forsake you. This is Pastor Victor Hickson, changing your direction, encouraging you, receive the gift that keeps on giving through my pain, through my hurt, through my disappointment. He keeps on giving. Jesus is the reason for the season. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Senior Pastor of Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida. I want to encourage you to partner with our ministry. Our motto here is little become much when you place it in the master's hand. I want you to be encouraged as you begin to plant your monthly seed within our ministry and trusting God, I need you to partner with me. This is Pastor Victor Hickson, Full Deliverance Baptist Church, Florida City, Florida. <laughs>